First of all, thank you so much. This is why I love what I get to do on YouTube. You guys are helping me discover music that I never would have stumbled on otherwise. And not only am I really enjoying it, I'm learning a ton too. And all of you keep saying, if I love Addo, I'll really get into Minami. This is my first ever experience hearing any Minami song crying for rain. Let's see what we got. I just, I just made another video on this, this concept of vocal weight. Listen to how she stays on one note and grows the intensity of it. It's more than just intensity though. It's, it's weight. It's a light note. It's a heavy note. It's a, it's a sheepish note. It's an aggressive note and it totally changes tone and intensity. <laughs> That's really, really hard to do well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let it play. I love the rhythmic engagement she has with with her words. There's a lot of syllables packed in there. It's almost like a, what a rapper would be doing in terms of the way she pulls time and creates those subdivisions. Hear that heat up right into that chorus. One more time. Oh, and she's, she has this really whispery sound right there, and it's layered in the recording. And then she brings it in, she brings in all that heat. Oh, that's so cool. It's the same sort of thing she was doing earlier, but on a whole different level. Like always, I like to experiment and sort of reverse engineer, non-judgmentally, of course, because I'm never going to sound like or as good as what they're doing. I like to reverse engineer these sort of sounds as sensations. How do we heat up a note like she's doing so masterfully? Well, a simple way to start doing this is to divide it up into two more simple tasks. First off, grow the note with your mouth, whatever note it is. So we might go, we just open it up by changing the shape. Next, grow the note with air pressure or breath pressure. So we're gonna start on this note and then we're just gonna keep feeding more some more pressure to the note without necessarily getting louder. So we're going to simultaneously hold back air while we push more from our lower abdominals or our poop muscles, as I'd like to say. And if you'd like more help understanding what your support is when you're singing and how to use it for cool stuff like this, click the link below and join my free course and I'll help you dial in your support so you can play more freely with your own voice. But here we go. Uh, 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 
So I'm growing it in terms of pressure. Both sound awkward by themselves, but when you combine them, yeah, it might still sound a little goofy as an exercise, but if you do this and then you listen to what Minami's doing, you hear in a much more refined and musical context the same sort of thing going on. It's a two-step sort of process that you blend together and learn to blend together seamlessly. That was a really cool transition there. Listen to what happens where she kisses that higher note very, very quickly. But she goes right into that heavier note. So hard. Again, Oh, I love the variance. A very similar playfulness to Ado. What's that vocal tone there? She has such a wonderful way of being darker and and more um somber without swallowing her sound ah, versus ah, perfectly placed and balanced Really neat production aspect there. The subtle octave up as she's singing. The, the main line is, is one octave and she's singing an octave up and timing it really well. It doesn't sound synthy. It sounds like she's doubling it, but really, really keeping with the timing. And that's a, a theme I'm noticing on Minami's vocals. Her sense of timing and rhythm is really, really honed. <laughs> Hear that little chirp? <laughs> this weep at the end of it. I've said this in countless other videos, but this ability for singers to get really intense and then sigh out of intense phrases both keeps you free as a singer, but it creates this wonderful sort of desperate engagement. It's more than just an artistic thing for a lot of these singers. It's a way to remain free and relaxed. Very intense, not intense, intense uh, uh, release. Now I have to go back real quick and point out some interesting breathing she's doing. She doesn't need to breathe that much. She's using her air intake as an instrument. This is another example of something most great vocalists do. They take something that is necessary to sing, like breathing, or that sigh technique I just talked about, but in this case, breathing, and they use it in a way that doesn't seem necessary, but that actually brings more flair to a vocal line. So yeah, we have to take in air. Let's make it part of the vocal experience. This points to why she's so freely rhythmic with her voice, because she uses air intake as well as phonation to create sound. <laughs> <laughs> 
There she's doing it again with her breath. That's so cool. Ra, mild ra. <laughs> So here's another interesting thing to think about when it comes to breathing. They are very intentional about the production as well as how she engages the microphone with the breathing. If you listen to this last section, you don't hear her breathing. Like she could be doing that, but she's choosing not to. She's using dynamics with her breathing as well as with her singing. This is very intentional stuff, both from a production standpoint and a performance standpoint. I like that spoken part, right? It feeds into that sort of almost rap rhythmic influence there. Listen to how pure her voice sounds on that highest note. Her ability to create different tones in these fast lines. It's almost like different vocalists per note. I've talked about this in Otto's performances as well. Minami has this wonderful way of creating a different character out of each note. <laughs> Ooh, there was a really cool sigh. Listen again. It's fun to hear a guitar solo. Mm. I miss that in new music. Her performance at the end, as well as the production, they dry up. There's no reverb, there's no layers. There's this solitary voice projecting loneliness, solitude. I don't even understand the words and the way that the visual plus her vocal posture there, like, wow, singing is so much more than hitting notes. This level of self-expression that Minami has is absolutely phenomenal. Amen. Thank you so much for this recommendation. What a voice. 
If you liked this video, you will love the breakdowns I've done in this playlist. And again, if you'd like more help exploring your own voice in a playful, non-judgmental way, click that link below and join my free course. We'll see you for more.